Hi, this is Lee. If you've made a site for your ePortfolio in a school domain um, and you want to change it over to your private domain, because when you leave the school, it may be that transferring the site is not an, as easy a process as you would think. So I recommend that you make your ePortfolio in your private account in Gmail and share it with your school account so that you can take it with you if you move so just to demonstrate, if you have an ePortfolio site in your domain or school email account, when you leave, the site is deleted. So what you want to do is have your site owned by your personal account, and when you leave, the site remains yours. You can, of course, share that site with your school account if you wish, but it doesn't get deleted if you leave. So this video is to show you how to transfer a site that you have made in your school domain and put it into your private account so that it won't get deleted when you leave. So the first step is to make yourself a co-owner of your site, which is in your school domain. And you can do this by clicking on the site and clicking on the settings and going to manage the site and looking at sharing and permissions. I have already done this, but it's just a matter of adding your private email address down the bottom there. You can see that's my private email address there, and this is the where the ePortfolio is at the moment. Don't forget to click the little down arrow there and make yourself the owner as well. So you can see up there, I've made my private self the owner, not just editable. So all you have to do is add the address and send that off. Once you've made yourself a co-owner, um, that is the first step. You now have to go back into your private email account. So if you go back to the private email account, so check that you are in your private account and you're in the same site and what you're going to do now is make a copy. So scroll down and hit on make a copy of the site and you can call it copy appraisal me, you can call it what you want but that's what I'm going to do. Click on I am not a robot and copy it. Now when you make a copy, you are now the owner of it, rather than the domain. So here I am in my private account with my original appraisal and the copy of appraisal Lee right there. So that's in my private account. I can switch over to my domain account and there it is. I am the owner of that one in that domain. And this is the copy that I am now a shared owner with. Now this is the original one and you're going to delete it. You're going to only use the copy appraisal from now on. So in your domain, go into that particular site, the original one, and click on the manage the site again. And you are going to delete the original. Now I'm back in my private account again and you can see that original one which was made in the domain has disappeared. I've only got the copy of the appraisal which I am the owner of as a private person. So that's the one you're going to work with from now on. So you've deleted the original but you have shared ownership with your domain as well as your private account and that way when you leave you can take your ePortfolio with you. When you do leave your school make sure that you remove ownership of your private site by going into the domain and just removing by taking off the domain ownership and save that change. If they do delete it and before you do that, you can restore your website from your uh, deleted website section. 
and that can be found under deleted items.